Lately, AI has been all the rage, so I decided to see if a fancy robot could actually be helpful with doing something as intimate and personalized as bullet journaling. I asked ChatGPT two questions that might help get people started, and I'm really surprised with what it came up with. Yes, I can certainly provide you with some examples of minimal and simple bullet journal spreads. So ChatGPT broke these up into four different categories of spreads, and I'm going to do exactly what this robot says, see what the result is, and give my own comments or comparisons. A minimalist monthly spread could simply consist of a list of the days of the month on the left-hand side of the page and a small space on the right-hand side for notes or reminders. This could be decorated with a simple header or small illustration. What I'm liking about doing this so far is that you're not exposed to another person's definition of simple or minimal. You sure you don't want to take a look at mine? Yeah, no, this is good. It's nice and simple. You literally just follow the instructions without the influence of anything extra. As ironic as it is to be using AI, this could potentially be the most organic way to understand what works for you, and it starts with a simple and functional baseline. A weekly spread could be as simple as a list of the days of the week with space for notes or tasks next to each day. Another option could be a grid layout, with each day of the week taking up a row or column in the grid. To add some visual interest, you could use a different color for each day or alternate between two colors. So I don't actually use a weekly spread, I use a daily calendar, but Abby uses a weekly spread and I made a video on how she uses that. I do know from having both the first and second edition of the bullet journals that it is annoyingly difficult to split the page evenly to fit seven days. ChatGPT, tell me how to divide this page into seven equal rows! But again, the directions are simple and it provides a functional use. But keep in mind, it's going to leave out the little nuances you come across when you actually start drawing lines on the paper and using your bullet journal. A simple habit tracker could consist of a list of habits or activities you want to track with boxes or circles next to each one. You can then fill in the box or circle each day that you complete the habit or activity. Alternatively, you could create a grid with the habits along the top and the days of the month along the side and fill in the corresponding box each day. Okay, so here's the problem I have with grids and boxes and circles and things. This takes time to set up, and if it's not therapeutic for you, it's friction between you using your journal and whatever habit you're trying to track. Like, I get the fact that you only have to set this up once a month or maybe even less, but I find it more helpful to actually know how many times I did something. Because even after you fill them in, you have to go back and count all the coloring you did, and coloring in a shape can actually take longer than writing a simple number. But if this is something that you enjoy setting up and filling in, by all means, please continue. But if you're just getting started, I'd highly recommend removing as much friction as possible by having to put in the least amount of effort to make your spreads. Damn it. A minimalist mood tracker could be as simple as a list of the days of the month with a space next to each day for you to mark your mood. You could use a simple color code to represent each mood or use symbols like smiley faces or sad faces. Okay, so this is something that I don't do, but it could be a powerful tool for reflection. I would definitely keep it simple and instead of using colors, maybe use three different smileys. Happy, sad, and meh. Over time, this could be really telling of what your energy gainers and drainers are throughout the month. Like, imagine going back and seeing multiple streaks of frowning faces, then going back to those days to see what went on, and then being like, huh, whenever this was part of my day, I was miserable. This can help put some mental clarity around how you'd like to structure your life by either working on removing things or adding things in for more streaks of happy faces. So ChatGPT can give different answers for even the same prompts, so I decided to ask a very similar question. Yes, I can provide you with some examples of minimal and simple bullet journal spreads that are perfect for beginners. It created similar prompts for a monthly log, daily log, and a habit tracker, but this time it added two things that focused more on mindfulness. 
Write down all the thoughts, ideas, and tasks that are occupying your mind. Group related items together and label them if necessary. Prioritize the most important items and assign deadlines if applicable. So I'm considering this more of a journaling prompt slash exercise, and I think it serves two purposes. First of all, the first step is similar to thought dumping, which I talked about in a previous video. However, it seems like this is supposed to be more of like a list because it tells you to organize the brain dump and then encourages you to take action. This could be a good exercise to help you dial in your focus when you're feeling overwhelmed. I'm definitely gonna pocket this for a dumpster fire day. Write down three things you are grateful for each day. Use simple bullet points or draw a small icon to represent each item. Reflect on your entries regularly to cultivate a positive mindset. A robot with an artificial mind is encouraging you to practice gratitude to cultivate a positive mindset. Again, the irony. I've been doing this since the beginning of this year as my monthly log and even though I can't measure my positivity, I can subjectively say that it's improved and I only write down one thing a day instead of three. Okay, so after going through this process, I put everything together in a way that I would actually use it and would recommend somebody just starting out. So for the monthly spread, I'd have all the days on the left hand side for the calendar, due dates and whatever the mood tracker right next to it, and then keeping space for notes and reminders. But personally, I'd probably make this a monthly reflection or a to-do section, goals, you know, something like that. Down at the bottom is where I would have the habit tracker with just the letter of the habit and then a number right next to it showing how many times I did that habit for the month. And then for the weekly schedule, I'd have space on the right-hand side for gratitude and then of course space for events, tasks, whatever. But then I realized like I probably don't even need that much space. So for the following weeks, I made everything smaller, but left just enough space for three lines of gratitude and then got rid of the line here because that's just less work. And then down at the bottom, there's space for to do's and thoughts or whatever else you want to put there, a sticker, I don't know. But yeah, I would, like anything else, experiment with this, see how it works, tweak it to make it work for me even more. But overall, I feel like ChatGPT did a pretty good job. So I think this is a pretty good exercise for some of you guys to try and see what you come up with. I'll admit, I was definitely resistant to using AI for anything, but I can see how this can be helpful in exercising and improving creativity if it's used the right way. And in the literal words of AI on ChatGPT, Remember, the beauty of bullet journaling is that it can be customized to fit your own needs and preferences. Don't be afraid to experiment and find out what works best for you.